I placed LED strip lights on the bicycle's frame and put together a homemade switch assembly to activate the lights by the brake lever. In this case, the rear brake lever. You can see how bright it is. A little bit of shaky camera coming up, but there's a close-up of the activation of the mini switch. There we go. And this is um, mounted to a um, reflector mount. And I've taken the, obviously, the reflector off, put the mini switch through there. Uh, had to drill out a hole just a little bit larger to get that switch through it. And um, it's not in the way of the action of the brake at all. I was very careful not to get that in the way. You can see the wire uh, coming off of it that I've sealed with some hot glue to keep it weatherproof. And it goes up to this box. This is a Maxwell House coffee box. Um... I've covered it with some black vinyl, which makes it then look different. A little bit of padding inside, and then inside is a is a um, eight pack of AA batteries that provide then uh, 12 volts because those are automotive LED lights. And um, I tie it to the frame with a bungee. I noticed afterward uh, after putting this together, the movie together, that I didn't quite have that box mounted uh, in the same position on the frame. But anyway, it does work well and stays in place real well. does not get in the way of the uh, carrier bag that's on the back of the bike. You'll see here in just a minute after I get the bungee around. There we go. I've got one of those Topeak uh, bags with panel ear side bags on it, saddle bags. And you can see I was able to release it and move it out. And that's it. Works real well.